time for our pick of the litter sponsored by best mattress and oh my goodness you know what every dog that i know that's named nico is like the best <laughs> dog and this dog is named nico which means he's gonna be a great dog i know many nicos is what i'm trying to say and they're very good this adorable lunk needs a forever home and we are going to find one right now jj we're going to do it that's right. Our friends at Best Mattress sponsor this segment. Kelsey Peasy joins us from the Animal Foundation this morning. She's a great friend of the show. Back with the adorable Nico, a great name, a great dog. Tell mm -hmm. us all about him. Well, Nico is super handsome. He's always out on walks here at the shelter. That is because all the volunteers and the staff absolutely love Nico. Now he just needs that uh, permanent home, uh, someone that can love and cherish him. He's a little bit chunky, not trying to body shame. He could lose a few pounds, but he likes to sit. <laughs> he likes to relax and he's about seven years old. So if you're looking for a marathon partner, Nico is not your guy. He is very mellow. Kind of like me. Listen, take it easy. It has been a tough pandemic on me and Nico. You just lay <laughs> off, all right? Yeah. We're just right there. It's tough. Um, uh, what, what would be, so the perfect home, something a little bit more chill, uh, good with other dogs, good with the family. How's it going to work there? Not sure if he is good with other dogs. That's definitely something our adoption counselors can go over. They can look up any notes we might have on Nico. I do know that he loves hot dogs. He's kind of picky. He doesn't like regular <laughs> treats. He likes hot dogs. Nice. Uh, you can't blame him, really. Uh, and if folks want to come down, you have that amazing adoption center. It's pretty new to the Animal Foundation. Um, it makes vi visiting, introducing yourselves to the dogs so, so nice. Can, can people bring their pets to introduce them to your uh, rescues or... Do you allow that? So actually, we, we do ask that people leave their pets at home, but they do bring their family here or anyone that's living in the house to meet the pet. And then our adoption counselors go over the proper way to introduce your new pet to your existing pet at home. Yeah, they do not have there it as go. a war of attrition and figure out, you know, all right, whoever wins this battle is king of the house. Don't do that. That's not the way to do it. Uh, by the way, <laughs> if you adopt Nico, you're going to get a lovely pet bed from Best Mattress, a proud sponsor of our Pick of the Litter segment. Uh, that said, uh, let's continue on to, it's not just about the dogs here. No, 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 no. Kittens mm -mm. multiplying. So many kittens. Aww. It's kitten season. Yes, not everyone knows we have a kitten nursery here. Went in there this morning. There are a lot of kittens in the uh, kitten nursery, and that is because we're at the beginning of kitten season. So that's during the warm, you know, months. And for here in Vegas, that would be like May through September. We're just inundated with kittens. I'm talking like five to ten litters a day coming into the <gasps> shelter. Wow. Oh my gosh, so many kitties. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's, tell us, I, I know I see on your social media um, folks caring for them. Do you have volunteer opportunities right now when it comes to those kittens? We actually do have training so that if you are interested in helping out in our kitten nursery, we can always use help. That is something you can train to do and it is just as cute as you would imagine. You get to feed the kittens that are in our kitten nursery. Cause you know, a lot of times they're brought in without mama. So they're really relying on us to survive. And so uh, they're fed around the clock, like every two to four hours until they're five weeks old. Oh man, I'm Kelsey. I'm having a moment. It's just a little my kid's goodness. horrible. Here's, a, so uh, my, the first cat I ever had, my mom and I were running through a big rainstorm. We heard a little, and it was a little tiny kitten that was stuck in this rainstorm. We brought him home, made sure he was okay, and then we just made that cat ours. That said, Aww. what do we do if we find a kitten outside when it's a hundred and God knows how hot out? What do we do? So if the kitten is chunky and clean and not in danger, you want to leave that kitten where you found it because mom is likely nearby getting food and she'll probably be back later. Gotcha. Now, if the kitten is in danger, they probably do need to come to the shelter or maybe they look sick and you can call animal control for help. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a great reminder, Kelsey. Thank you so much. Is you know, pick, picking that little kitty up might mean taking it away from its mom. So even though you have the best of intentions, you may, you may not want to do that. Kelsey, thank you so much for joining us. If people want to follow up and meet Nico or uh, come down and even you know maybe walk around the the yard with him, how can they do that? So adoptions are still by appointment only. So we ask that you give our adoptions team a call, and then they can set you up an appointment one-on-one -on -one meet and greet with Nico. Let's find him a home. Awesome. Let's do it.
AnimalFoundation.com. That's the website you want to take a look at. There's a phone number right there on your screen as well. And don't forget, if you adopt Nico, you're going to get a complimentary pet bed from Best Mattress, their proud sponsor of the litter here on the morning block.